Hey everybody, and welcome to the latest Maker's Tutorial series. After figuring out that my other tutorials weren't exactly as helpful as they could have been, I decided I needed to go over more basic concepts. First, starting with scripts. Scripts are commands. They run once, and they do whatever is inside them when the game opens. To demonstrate this, we are going to put a script into the server script service. And server script service is just a container on the game server. It cannot be messed with by players. All right. To begin with, we're going to print first run. So when we go into our game, we're going to see that it outputs first run. It ran once, that was the end of it. To demonstrate the concept further, Actually, no, we shouldn't do that. That'll take too long. All right. Now, if scripts only run once, how do games continue to run? And that's done through events. For example, the player service, which holds the players of a game, it has an event called player added. It tells us that a player has been added to the game and it allows us to access the new player. To connect to it, we go game, dot players dot player added and the dots work basically the same as the file structure on your computer for example user slash documents slash folder slash whatever dot exe it's the same concept just with dots to connect to this event we go colon connect we in then we insert a function into it player added also passes the new player to this function to get it we just put player here, and it could. this is a variable, so it could be whatever you want to call it. We'll call it cake in this case. So when this event fires, when a player is added, it's going to fire this function. And whatever happens in here is going to be executed when the player is added. All right, to demonstrate this, we can go print cake, since it is our player, cake.name has joined the game. Test it again. Player has joined the game. This will execute whenever a player joins the game. That way, even though the script is only going to run once, this event will still be here. That's about the end of this video. I know it was particularly short, but I wanted to get some basic concepts out of the way before we moved on to take on anything else for right now. On the next video, I think I'm going to start teaching you how RPGs put the values into players so that you can access them. Values like level and experience and gold and things like that. Until next time, my friends, peace out.